these are not the easiest thing to get to because there's a very narrow ridge that you can knock against in the um, in the hub itself. But be careful with it, you can do it. And you just don't go driving it too hard in one direction and stretch the hub. Move from side to side, it will shift. And it's moving. Sit. Knocking your fingers is of course one of the problems you have with this because you can do that. I'm not looking where I'm hitting. Just about that. Clean. Let's have a look at the race. Right here we have the race that's come out of there. If you look at it, you'll see that it's quite um, discoloured there. That's heat. It's caused that discoloration there, and it's also probably worn it quite a bit. It's serviceable because it hasn't burnt completely through, but it's certainly showing the signs of it. And that's the race that came out of it. Now, that's us it's, it's a usable one, but even it's showing signs of heat. If you see the, the staining on it, that staining is caused by heat. So the wise thing to do in this case is just to replace it, which is a bit of a shame, but it's, it's usable in some other in some other context that will get you out of trouble. So I'll keep that. Now, when you're going to put these back in, make sure they're clean, right? Make sure they're clean. Make sure everything's quite up the stage. You don't want the thing causing any more trouble than it's been causing. So we'll do that. Mm. I'm quite sure that's good enough now. I think I need to do a little bit more in there. Get the um, bearing surface, the seating surface clean. Got a bit of grease and stuff stuck in there, a bit of dirt. A lot of people make a mistake to throw some grease in and throw the bearings in and wonder why they fail. beating friend said yesterday when I was trying to get the nut off the axle some people should never be allowed near a tool and I agree with him about that too many amateur mechanics around the place who don't know what they're doing they say on the packet here this, uh, to tighten up the, the nut to 25 foot pound but I don't do that I set them by taking them up tight and then backing them off one castellation at a time until it goes loose and then I start to tighten them up until I feel a decent preload with the wheel spinning freely. And at that point, providing you take the wheel and, and check to see there's no slap or anything else like that, that's usually pretty right. I've been doing that for years and I've been doing it on cars that way and I've never had a problem with them, ever. I've got a little jag in there which I'll need to get rid of. Just steal it there, 
just on that spot. It'll probably just scored it a bit now, it's come off now. That's alright. So that other bearing surface will go in there. Okay, let's see what the confusion is with this. Right. Fumble fingers again. Right. We need to do this the technical way. Right. on the floor, they're going to your feet. Very painful. Oh, uh, we're out. Oh, gee, that's good. Here we go, we'll pry it apart if it will come. Where is it? Come with your dog. Here we go. Bonk. That's the whole bit. Alright. Alright. Bottom race. Put that in there. This is my old panel hammer from the days when I used to do special sheet metal work. It's pounded everything for about 35 years and it's still very good. I use it for all sorts of stuff. It's only a short handle, but it hits well and it's good for doing this sort of thing. Okay, lesson one, gently. Go right around like that. Check and make sure it's going in square. Gently does it. This will not break the bearing. to go before it's seated. Fortunately you can still buy bearings for these things and it's quite amazing that you can. So that sounds solid. Let's have a look. Seated, seated. Now it is. Can you hear the difference? Hear that metallic sound? She's now seated. Yep, fully seated. Okay, turn it over to the other one. Go down there. This is what I'm worried about because this was quite loose in the uh, quite loose in the housing. This one. I'll just follow the other one. I'm hoping it'll pick it up. Okay. Oh yes, it's loose. It's a nuisance. Yes, it's loose all right. See that? I can pull that backwards and forwards. Well, the housing's just about had it on that one. However, we have a solution, which I don't have with me at the moment. So what we'll do is we'll get some Loctite and put in there. Just for the moment, I'll turn that off. 